Hello and welcome to episode three of Honestly with Ashley. You may notice that my background is a little different. We moved. We moved to Portland, Oregon. We bought a home. This is our home, so this will be, well, you'll see it over the course of each episode, I guess. And if you follow me on Instagram. Today's episode is all about hand towels. I will be reviewing them in the kitchen and in the bathroom. I'm going to talk about how soft they are, how they feel, how well they dry my hands, how well they dry like dishes when you do dishes. And I'm also going to see how they wear and how they wash. So I just took these out of the packaging and I'm comparing them for size. So first we have Bagu. These come in a set of two for $40. I did just see they're on sale at Nordstrom though. Hot tip. Um, and then we're reviewing Doosan and Doosan, which you can see is just like a smidge, very technical term, a smidge smaller in the width than the Bagu. The Doosan and Doosan is $24 for one. It's double-sided. I guess they're all kind of double-sided. Oh, this is pretty, they're pretty cute. And this is House 23. They're a brand out of Long Beach I really like, also double-sided. This is by far the longest one. Okay, so I was thinking hand towels. How are we gonna test hand towels? First of all, what do you like the look of? That's number one, right? Like, you're gonna get the towel that you like the look of that goes with your home. I like the look of all of these. I think they all look nice. Uh, special little details like this, I love this. I know some people have hooks like in their kitchen. This would be pretty long, but if you're hanging it in the bathroom, I don't know, also pretty long. It's just nice to have a thing like that, but maybe I would honestly prefer it over here. You know, lengthwise. Look who's coming in. <laughs> Someone's got opinions on hand towels. So yeah, I'm thinking hand towels. I care about how they wash in a washing machine. I care about how well they dry my hands. I care about how well they dry dishes in case I wanna use them to dry dishes. Initial thoughts, since I haven't used these yet, this Deuce and Deuce and one is definitely the thickest one. It feels like a substantial towel. These are thinner. I feel like maybe wouldn't dry dishes as well. This is like a, like feels like a heavy duty towel. Like, I don't know if you can tell by the way it drapes, like this can like crumble up. Like these can crumble up. This is like just a bigger towel, but it's also the smallest one. It just seems more substantial. I also noticed right away on the Bagu one, like a, a stray strand. Not the end of the world, it's a towel. Hey, real quick, to prove, the, to actually prove that we're in a new, a, a, a new house, uh -huh. open that door. Oh no. Open that door right there. Open the door and just show it real quick what's oh, in there. No. <laughs> just open it, open it all the way. <laughs> oh. Should I show like a dirty rag? Like this is what our kitchen hand towels look like even after being washed. I mean, these are dirty granted, but like they get messed up. I wouldn't use these all the time for spills in here. Would I drape it over here maybe if I knew we had guests coming? Yeah, would I leave it there? No. No, I would not. It would get ruined. Let's just do a hand wash. I'll wash my hands and dry them on each one of these and we'll see how it goes. All right. Soaking wet hands, going in with House 23. Still a little damp. Doesn't seem to dry, dry as well. Hmm. Let's try this last one. That's an absorbent towel. It just feels so thick. I say they all did pretty much the same. Also, they're all terry cloth towels. So they, I feel like they're gonna be similar. All right, so day one, first impressions. The Deuce and Deuce in is the thickest, seems maybe slightly more absorbent, not substantial. It is also by a hair, the smallest one, but folds up larger because it's thicker. The House 23, the largest one, has a loop, thin. The Bagu has a little snag. 
fine. Mid-size one. They all dry in my hands fine, perfectly fine. They're also all terry cloth towels. So they seem pretty similar, but the patterns are different. All right, so I have been testing out the hand towels and in the mail came the Aesop hand soap. I thought this would be fun to plug in as an additional little bonus feature for the episode. Aesop hand soap is one of those hand soaps that you see me is walking around. Look how cute she is. Mia, what do you think? Aesop hand soap is one of those things you see at like very fancy restaurants like John and Vinny's has it in LA or like celebrity homes. It's $40, but the bottle has become kind of like iconic when you see it in someone's bathroom. You're like, wow, they are fancy. Um, this is my first bottle. I've never owned it before. It's $40. I think the real hack here is getting the Aesop, paying once that $40 and then getting a refill of like more affordable soap if you wanna have this on your countertop. That could kinda of justify the price. But I've never used it, I've only used it when I've gotten to like John and Vinny's. So I'm gonna pop it open and give you a little review right now. So what's special about Aesop hand soap is it has this like gritty kinda of texture, which is fun. Oh yeah, it feels very exfoliating. Just feels like it's like really getting in there and like cleaning your hands. So I should like have the water off. Lathers well. Oh, and it smells amazing. It smells like a fancy day spa or something. Okay. Kind of sucks when you like something that's expensive because then you're like, man, should I buy it again? You can buy refills of it too, so you're not constantly buying the bottle, which is nice. Man, it smells so good. I legitimately feel like my hands are softer. I kind of wanted to hate it because I don't want to. I don't want to regularly buy forty dollars hand soap. I also, I do really like this new one from Mrs. Myers that's rose scented. But that exfoliation, it really does something, I think. Do you want to feel my hand? Does it feel nice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have been using these hand towels for about two weeks. I have washed them, put them in the dryer, I've used them in the kitchen, I've used them in the bathroom, and honestly, they're pretty much the same. They're all terry towels, so they have that same, like, bath towel material, all of them washed well. I would say really pick a towel based on your personal preference for color and pattern. You can't go wrong with a terry towel. Terry towels are incredibly absorbent. They launder well. Um, I pulled out some other towels, hand towels that I have just to give a comparison. These are from Hawkins, New York, and they're more of like a waffle towel. They're less absorbent, which means they hold less water, which is sometimes nice because they dry faster. Whereas like a traditional terry towel, which all of these were, they take longer to dry out after you use them. So something like this might be better in like the kitchen, personal preference I would say. And then I randomly got this hand towel. I have no idea who the maker is, but it feels more like a linen towel. This one does not absorb water well. I think it's more decorative. It feels nice, but when I like have spills, our kitchen sink like splatters a lot when you wash dishes. And when I use this to wipe the sink area, it just kind of pushes water around. So I would say this kind of like waffle towel is good for drying hands, not good for mopping up messes. Whereas terry towels are good for drying hands washing your face, like wiping out messes. It's really absorbent, but it does hold that water longer. Thank you so much for joining me for episode three of Honestly with Ashley. Next month's episode is very exciting. It's toasters. 
So I will be testing out three different toasters at three different price points. We have this one, this like retro one from Amazon as the lowest price point, kind of like a smeg dupe. We have a mid price one, this really beautiful, again, kind of retro um, one from Hay. And then top of the line, this one does so much more than just make toast. The Balmuda, is that how you say it? Balmuda? So a little bit of a spoiler, we've been using this one and really like it so far, but I'm very excited to test all of these. If there's anything specifically you wanna know about toasters, um, if you want me to test anything besides toast, is there anything else you use toaster for? Let me know. I'm very excited to give you my honest reviews of these next month. See you then.